uh, um, how to take care of the bias due to discretization in each step using uh, Metropolis testing step. Thank you. Uh, is it working? Yeah. Thank you, Tanya, for the introduction. Uh, so I'm going to present uh, the paper on lock on gap sampling Metropolis testing algorithms are fast. This is joint work with Russ Davidi and uh, our advisors, Martin Winwright and Bing Yu. Uh, so like the, just like the title indicates, this work is about establishing convergence for Metropolis testing algorithms in the log concave sampling setting. Um, so log concave sampling has come up multiple times in this conference. So the aim is to sample from a density of the form e to the minus f, where f is convex. Uh, the, the goal is to draw samples x, k, such that the distribution of the x, k is close to the uh, true distribution pi with respect to some distance. So there are some distance choice, the manager distance choices in this talk will focus on the total variational distance. Um, so the, the, the role of actually the log concavity in sampling is actually similar to that convexity in convex optimization. And we tried so I decided to go a little bit slowly so everyone is on the same background. So on this optimization algorithm, you will try to minimize the function fx. And in the sampling, we try to draw samples from density e to the minus f. And if the function is convex, the first algorithm, algorithm come to your mind will be the gradient descent algorithm. And in the sampling, you will also have the similar algorithm called the unadjusted Langevin algorithms. Uh, uh, Langevin, uh, Langevin algorithms, and which takes the gradient steps, in, and in the addition to, to that, you have a noise step. And note that this uh, Langevin algorithms is uh, different to the usual stochastic gradient descent algorithms you have in mind. And the noise scale in sampling algorithms is actually uh, larger than that uh, needed for the stochastic algorithms. Intuitively, it makes sense. You need more noise to explore the whole space, right? So, <sighs> so where does this algorithm come from? Like the previous talk show, uh, this algorithm come from the classical Langevin stochastic differential equations. So this is this stochastic process x t takes the form dx t minus gradient f x t dt plus uh, square root of t square root of d b t dBT BT is a usual Brownian motion. And under some regularity conditions, you can show that this continuous process has the right stationary distribution. It converges to e to the minus f. Um, so it's not hard to think about the, the UOA now. UOA is just the forward discretization of the Sogasi differential equation. Uh, so now the question is, uh, does this uh, discretization work? I'm sure that all the speakers in this section will tell you that this uh, uh, unadjusted Langevin algorithm works for sampling, but I would say sometimes no, because it's actually in practice, it's hard to tune the uh, step size of those unadjusted Langevin algorithms. So here shown in the simulation on the left plot, we show uh, a run of uh, UOA and the black Black uh, is shown the density, the true density we try to approximate, and the red uh, is the histogram after we run uh, UOA for many steps. And you see that the histogram converges, but uh, does not has a, has a slight bias, does not converge to the right distribution, even though the trace plot shows it's very fast, but it's not converging to the right distribution. And you can make the step size much smaller, it converges to the right distribution eventually. But uh, the trace plot show it's actually this plot, this uh, this convergence is not very fast. And putting these two in the same plot, if we plot the L1 distance in histograms as a function of iterations, you can see that uh, uh, ULA with large step size converges, but you have a bias that you can never remove as you as a, as a, as the step goes. And you have to take a very small step size, and then the convergence becomes much slower. So the motivation here is, a, is about removing this bias. Uh, and practitioners in the MCMC literature will tell you that, oh, that's easy. Just add a metropolis filter to your algorithm. And uh, this will result in the metropolis adjusted Langevin algorithms. 
And it takes the ULA updates as proposal, and uh, in addition to that, you have accept reject step, which forces the algorithm to have the right stationary distribution by enforcing it satisfy the detail balance condition. Uh, so if you add this algorithm to the previous plot, you can see that this algorithm converges very fast, still enjoys the fast convergence of UA, and it has no bias. It right, arrives the right accuracy we need. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, how we establish a convergence of the, those uh, metropolis adjusted algorithms. Uh, so if you open your classic uh, textbook in Markov chain, there are two dominant techniques in uh, if you have a discrete state Markov chain. Uh, one is called coupling, and the other is called conductance. And in the continuous state, so we are interested in the continuous space, space mark, mark state Markov chain, right? In the continuous state, the situation is similar. You have these coupling constructions, and you have conductance methods. A little difference is that in the continuous state, you have a stochastic differential equation to rely on. So there's a huge amount of literature in recent years about using the coupling construction with the stochastic decrease differential equation, you first analyze the convergence of stochastic decrease differential equation, and then you analyze the discretization error. And the point here is that this discretization error might hurt you. So if we go back to Langevin algorithms, uh, they are all literatures in the using, using all these kind of methods. And the point is, yes, the, the coupling construction with Lyapunov function, this kind of method relies on finding a good Lyapunov functions, and you might, uh, uh, you might have extra dimension dependency, and the SD plus coupling conditions, uh, constructions, you will suffer from the discretization error we've seen. So natural question is whether there is any kind of conductance-based method to prove convergence of metropolis adjusted algorithms. So we try to fill this ga gap in, the, in our work, and uh, I'm not going to the proof details. Uh, please come to our poster if you are interested. So just a hint on the kind of results we obtain. So in a typical uh, result you obtain using unadjusted Langevin algorithms, uh, the algorithm will have to take step size of delta squared over L D times kappa. And 1 over L is something familiar, if you're familiar with convex optimization, that was the step size you will take. And uh, for, uh, for, for sampling, you need to take a small step size, a slightly smaller, which is dimension dependent, but the uh, delta square, uh, the, the dependency on the final accuracy you need on, on the step size is something unnatural, right? Would you use the gradient method which takes the step size that depends on the final accuracy you uh, try to achieve. But you see that if you use a metropolis hasting algorithm, you will be able to take a much larger step size. And uh, finally, your mixing time, you see the first one will be polynomial in terms of the uh, accuracy you want to achieve. And uh, our, if you use metropolis hasting algorithms, the dependency will be uh, Exponent uh, log one over there, there. and it so the mixing time of metropolis hasting adjusted algorithms is exponentially better on the accuracy, and also you can note that it has a better dependency on the condition number. Um, um, a, uh, a very short, like informal proof of why this kind of difference happens. I, I think a simulation is showing already this kind of difference. But uh, the, the, the key thing is that ULA algorithm and MALA both converge to their station distribution. The ULA has a bias. And uh, the bias will be of order square root of h if your h is your step size. And even though the first part converges very fast to the station, the ULA converges to its station very fast, the bias is always hurting you and that cannot be removed. And you take both terms to less than the accuracy you need, you will have to take a step size that depends on the accuracy you need. And then the, the number of steps you will have to take will be polynomial in two terms of accuracy you need. So Malar is unbiased. You can take larger step size and somehow faster misting. Hopefully, I've convinced you that 
more attention needs to pay to Metropolis to hasting adjusted algorithms. And please come to our post at night. Thank you. Uh, not yet, yeah. What kind of non-convexity? Uh, I, I mean, there are, we are working on some non-convex problems currently. It's ongoing work, but uh, currently I don't think uh, we have like published or established similar work yet. Yeah. Let's thank the speaker one more time. Um,